Hello guys, welcome to Engineers Revolution. Let's get into today's topic, important networking questions with answers. In this video, we cover topics like IP address, versions of IP address, networking devices, modes of networks, ping, subnet mask and default gateway, MAC address, subnetting and loopback address. Without any delay, let's start. Question 1. What is IP address? Explain its range. IP stands for Internet Protocol. IP address is a unique identifier address that allows computers to send and receive data over the Internet. There are two versions of IP address, IPv4 and IPv6, and there are five classes in IPv4, class A, B, C, D, and E. But we used only first three classes for assigning the IP address on the devices. Class A, first octet range 1 to 126 and number of network 126. Full range 1.0.0.0 to 126.255.255.255. Subnet mask is slash 8 and it is written as 255.0.0.0. Further, it divides into two parts. Private IP address 10.0.0.0.0 to 10.255.255.255. Except private IP address, all the other are public IP address here, the range of it. Class B, first octet range 128 to 191. A number of network, 16,382. Full range, 128.0.0.0 to 191.255.255.255. Subnet mask is slash 16, and it is written as 255.255.0.0. Further, it divide into two parts. Private IP address, 172.16.0.0 to 172.31.255.255. Same as A, except private. All other are public IP address here is the range of it. Class C, first octet range 192 to 223 and no of network, 2,097,150. Full range, 192.0.0.0 to 223.255.255.255. Subnet mask is slash 24 and it is written as mentioned. Further, it divide into two parts. Private IP address, 192.168.0.0 to 192.168.255.255. Same as A and B, except private, all other are public IP address here is the range of it. Class D, first octet range 224 to 239. But it is only used for multicast. Class E, first octet range 240 to 254. It is used for research purpose. Question 2. What are the methods of assigning the IP address? There are three methods of assigning the IP address on the devices. 1. Static method. We manually assign the IP address. 2. Dynamic method. We use DHCP protocol for assigning the IP address. It will assign IP address automatically. 3. APIPA. APIPA stands for Automatic Private IP Addressing. It is used only when DHCP server is not available. Then APIPA will assign IP address automatically. It is only work on window-based features. Range of APIPA 169.254.0.0 to 169.254.255.255. It uses only slash 16 subnet mask. Question 3. Difference between IPv4 and IPv6. IPv4, it is 32-bit IP address. Representation of IP address is in decimal. Broadcast messages used for transmission scheme. Encryption and authentication is not provided. Four fields are separated by dot. Security feature is dependent on application. There are five classes, and this is the example of IPv4. IPv6, it is 128-bit address. Representation of IP address is in hexadecimal and numeric value. Multicast or any cast messages used for transmission scheme. Encryption and authentication are provided. Eight fields are separated by colon used in Cisco devices. IPsec security feature is inbuilt. There are no classes. And this is the example of IPv6. Question 4. What is the difference between router switch and hub? Hub. It is used for connecting different number of computers, eight computers, within the same network if we are using eight port hub device. It works in half duplex. It works on physical layer. It is a broadcast device as if one computer give data to only another computer but it gives data to all the computers which are connected with hub, L2. Switch or basic switch. It is also used for connecting computers within the same network. It works in full duplex. L2 switch works on data link layer and multi-layer switch works on network layer. Switch do broadcast only in first time and then it will send unicast. It has memory and maintained by MAC table addresses, forwarding table. It uses data as a frames. Router. It is used for connecting the computers within the different network. It works in full duplex. It works on network layer. It acts as default gateway. It has memory and maintained by routing table. It uses data as a packets. Question 5. What is networking? Explain the modes used in networking. Group of devices that connects together to share the information or data to communicate with each other is called network. Three modes of communication used in networking. Unicast. 
one-to-one -one communication. Only one sender will share the data to only one receiver. Broadcast, one-to-all communication. Only one sender will share the data to all receiver at the same time. Multicast, one-to-many communication. Only one sender will share the data to many receiver at the same time. Question 6. What is PING? Explain the protocols used in it. PING stands for Packet Internet Grofer. It is system command utility that is used to check the connectivity between the devices. It only gives the result either successful or failed. It uses ICMP protocol Internet Control Message Protocol. It sends four echo messages from sender to receiver, and if receiver receives four echo messages successfully, then it also gives echo reply to the sender. It uses command ping for IP address of the devices which we want to check the connectivity. Sometimes we only receive three echo reply messages, then it also shows failed in first attempt because of ARP, address resolution protocol. It is used for mapping MAC address into IP address. Question 7. Explain the difference between private IP address and public IP address. Private IP address. It is used to communicate inside the network. It works only on LAN. It is used to load the network OS. It is available free of cost. It is secure than public IP address. It requires NAT network address translation to communicate with devices. Here is the example of private IP range. We can check private IP address using ipconfig slash all command or ipconfig command. Public IP address. It is used to communicate outside the network. It is used to get internet services. It is not available free of cost. It is not secure than private IP address. It does not require NAT to communicate with devices. All the IP address except private IP address range are public IP address. We can check public IP address using what is my IP command on Google. Question 8. What is subnet mask and default gateway? Subnet mask. It is used to logical subdivision of IP address into two parts. It is the number that distinguishes network address and host address within the IP address. For class A, we use slash 8. For class B, use slash 16. For class C, use slash 24. Slash 8 is 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals sign 255.0.0.0. Slash 16 is 8 plus 8 plus 0 plus 0 equals sign 255.255.0.0. Slash 24 is 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 0 equals sign 255.255.255.0. Default Gateway, the first interface of LN network through which we can send out traffic from one network to another network. It is node in a computer network that serves as the router to other networks when no route specification matches the destination IP address of a packet. It is same as router IP address. Question 9. Explain the difference between MAC address and IP address. IP address is a unique identifier address. It is a logical address. It is used to allow the computers to send and receive data over the internet. There are four types of IP address. Private, public, static, dynamic IP address. There are two versions of IP address. IPv4, 32-bit, and IPv6, 128 bit. Use command ipconfig slash all in command prompt to check IP address. MAC address. It is a 48 bit physical address. It is media access control and it is hardware identifier that uniquely identifies each device on the network. It is available from 0000000000000 to FFFFFFFFF. It has no classes of IP address. By using get MAC in command prompt or ipconfig slash all command, we can check MAC address. Question 10. What is subnetting and loopback address? Dividing an IP address into multiple smaller units that can work as a separate network unit known as subnet in the host network is known as the subnetting process. Subnetting allows the network to avoid frequent traffic problems that occur in the channel, resulting in smooth transmission of information in the network. The IP address 127.0.0.1 is called loopback address. Packets are sent to this loopback address never reach the network, but are looped through the network interface card only. Loopback address can be used for testing purpose to verify that the internal path through the TCP IP protocols is working or not. Stay tuned for next part. Thank you.